Mercer and the Mercer Museum, you know, you reflect upon both the man and what he achieved. Henry Mercer was born in 1856. He died in 1930. So the Mercer Museum is the product of his interests in uh, early Americana. And he amassed what is really a truly remarkable collection. So he thought up an exhibition technique that hung baskets and chairs six stories above your head, where you come into the museum's ground floor and you see a whale's eye view of a whale boat, where you see things hither and yon all over, and it just cries out for discovery. And people knew then in 1916 that there was something different about this museum. Mercer believed very much that objects had the power to tell stories. All they needed to do was be put in a place where a visitor could engage with them, both the stories the objects had and the stories they had in their own hearts and minds. And that's the secret of the Mercer Museum. Doylestown is just a small little town, but it is so charming, so wonderful. It's an eminently walkable town. The historic architecture, the combination of shops and little uh, boutiques and all are just so exciting. There's lots of cultural attractions to visit. You've got these world-class museums that could hold their own in an urban setting anywhere around the world in here. Whether you're looking at the, the legacy of Pearl Buck at her estate in Upper Bucks, or whether you're thinking about William Penn and his ancestral home at Pensbury Manor, there is so much to do here in Bucks County. What makes who we are and where we come from is ordinary people living their lives every day. And as you come and look at these objects and listen to those stories, you begin to understand who you are and where you are, and more importantly, help you understand where you're going. Thank you.